Hi, Tom here, and in this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you two ways to draw a school in one point perspective. First, draw a horizon line across your page. Now draw a simple rectangle, a long rectangle, on the right of your page. The baseline of the rectangle needs to be below the horizon line, and the top line of the rectangle needs to be above the horizon line. This will be the front of the school building. Next, draw two vertical lines to divide this shape into three parts. Now we can draw a line, a vertical line, from the middle of the rectangle going up. Add two more lines to make this into a simple triangle. Now, just below the point of the triangle, we can draw another horizontal line for the top of the roof. Next, just add the sides of the roof, a sloping roof, I think, for either side. So that is our basic shape of the first school building. Above the triangle, we could draw a short tower, just a square and then a triangle on top. Next, in the centre of the school and on the horizon line, draw a cross. This is our vanishing point. In one point perspective, all parallel lines will look like they meet at this point on the horizon. It must be on the horizon to work. Now we can draw a raised step and we can add two vertical lines to make some tall columns either side of the centre of the school. Next we can draw four diagonal lines from our vanishing point to the base and top of the first two columns. These are, in a way, our guidelines that show us where to place the next inner columns in one point perspective. Once you have the columns in place, we can erase the horizon line that goes through the building. Now we can add a new line for the base of the roof so that it is a little bit lower. I think that would look better and that would mean it extends. We just need to extend the edges of the roof too. So now the tops of the columns are in front of the bottom of the roof line. You could add some lines to the roof too, a series of horizontal lines. These lines should stay parallel to each other as they're not receding, they're not going away from us in perspective. Now we can add a small door in the centre base of the school building. If it's a small door, it will make the school building look bigger. Next, to add some windows, start by drawing some horizontal lines across the school for the tops and bottoms of each of the series of windows. Once we have those in place, draw some vertical lines. I would start at the edge of the building on either side and then just divide more vertical lines to make a series of rectangles, which will be the windows. You could add a circle for a clock face in the triangle. Now within the windows, you could also divide them into even smaller shapes. Following the lines through from one window to the next. We could add a simple flag too. Now, if we use the vanishing point in the middle of the school, the one single vanishing point for this one point perspective drawing, we can draw two new diagonal lines which follow the lines of the base of the columns all the way forwards to make a simple path from us towards the school. 
Now, again, using our vanishing point, we can draw a more modern school building on the left. To do this, first draw two diagonal lines going left from the vanishing point. And then draw a vertical line between these two diagonal lines, which is quite near our original school. Now draw two more diagonal lines towards the left. So you have a top double line, a middle double line, and a single base line with draw diagonal lines going towards the vanishing point. Once you have that, then we can erase the horizon line that goes through this building as we no longer need it. Now draw another vertical line, quite close to the first vertical line, but much longer. Then we need a horizontal line from the top and base of this new longer vertical line going left. This should look like a rectangle, like the start of a rectangle, and it's going to be a wall but only the edges of this wall are in perspective. So for that, just draw a line, top and bottom, going towards the vanishing point. Now, draw a vertical line parallel to the first long vertical line to give this wall a thickness in one point perspective. Now add two vertical lines in between the double lines on the left, and from the base of these, draw a horizontal line going left. We can do the two back parts too. Now add a vertical line and then use the vanishing point to draw the diagonal lines that we need. Next, find a vertical line from the left point of the wall that we drew going up. In this way, we have the basic structure we need, a part of a school building in one point perspective on the left with two overhanging roof areas and a protruding partition wall in between, all in one point perspective. So all of the diagonal lines are all going towards our vanishing point and all of the vertical and horizontal lines stay vertical and horizontal. Now we have both school buildings in place, we can add a few smaller details. I think I'll divide the wall vertically on the left and then add a few horizontal lines too. The horizontal lines are in perspective and therefore they need to go towards the vanishing point as they're going to be getting closer to each other as they go away from us towards the vanishing point. But the vertical lines in one point perspective aren't going away from us in any way that we're going to show any perspective in them. You could add a flagpole in the middle too I will copy the first flag that I drew, so it's going left in the wind, so it's sort of looking at the back of the flagpole. So that we're sort of looking at the back of the flag. Now you could add a path from the new school building to the old school building. You could also add a line of trees and bushes along the horizon line behind both buildings. It's best when you draw this to draw the trees and bushes slightly below and above the horizon line but not exactly on them. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil. I'll put a few more tonal values into these trees and bushes. We don't want the trees on the horizon line because that would be too far away. If they're slightly lower than the horizon line, then they're slightly closer to us. You could also shade in the roof. And for the windows, I'll just shade in using a diagonal tone line. So that it looks a little like glass, a glass wall on the new school. I hope you find this drawing useful for your own drawings. Please visit my website circlelineartschool.com to learn more.
Thank you very much for watching. I post a new video every week on my YouTube channel, Circle Learn Art School. So please subscribe to keep up to date.